today we're reviewing the numbers and number one pure full herb toner and really quick i just want to say i purchased all these products with my own money i'll never waste time to sponsor ads or videos so if that's something you're into like subscribe share the video check out my patreon community or check out my newsletter and uh i will be giving away a free one of these so make, make sure you subscribe to my newsletter i'll link to it below and i'll also say jasmine was the winner last week so uh this is going in the mail we got a lot of snow uh, yesterday and so far still today so it hasn't gotten the mail today usually I'd mail it Friday but um, anyway it'll be on the mail oh, and then we've also got a little bag too so that's going out to Jasmine be sure to sign up and get your free one of these okay so on to the review and I was just I've been testing this one out uh, off and on now and somebody just asked me about it a couple days ago I'm like oh yeah I should review that one I don't know why I haven't yet so here we go um, okay, so they say, calm your skin with this toner formulated with heart leaf extract, sick extract, and licorice root extract to soothe skin and reduce redness, enriched with herb extracts like hyacinth extract and polygonium multiflorum extract to purify and hydrate skin recommended for sensitive and acne prone skin. And I don't know, purify when I hear that word, I just don't think much of it because in terms of skin care, it really doesn't mean much. You purify water. You purify minerals, you purify vitamins, you don't really purify the skin. You know what I mean? So that's my take on it, but whatever. Uh, okay, so first criteria is packaging. We've got a plastic bottle. It's got the typical dispenser. Although I will say I appreciate a normal dispenser because uh, one of the toners I was testing uh, recently, it was, had just an open top. So every time I go to dispense it, it would all fall out and it was terrible. So this one's much better. I think it has the expiration date at the bottom. It does. So that's very nice. So no issues at all with that. Uh, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. We get to fragrance. This has a light, 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 light scent, probably from the highest scent. And uh, the highest scent is typically categorized as a skin conditioning and a perfume and ingredient in skin. Um, although the scent for this one isn't really noticeable, it's not irritating. I didn't have any issues with it, but for some people with very sensitive skin, it could be an issue. So I wanted to point that out. Um, if it was like hyacinth oil, it would definitely be much more of an issue than just hyacinth extract. Uh, extracts are not nearly as pungent or scented as oils are. So, uh, keep that in mind. So I would say it's just a real issue for those with the most, most sensitive skin. So, and my skin's pretty sensitive. I didn't have any issues with it. And uh, anyway, it probably would have been better if they would have switched it out for something else, rosemary extract or something like that. But anyway, aside from that, there's not a whole ton of other research on hyacinth. So there we go. Uh, okay, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea. So no issues with that. So I'm gonna do a quick pH test. Uh, just because I know somebody will ask for it, even though it's really not an exfoliating toner. Typically, the pH matters most when it comes to vitamin C and exfoliants. Um, so I would say the pH of this one, eh, right, right around 4 or 5. I would say 4.5 maybe. So pretty close right in there, so no issues with that. Uh, so I've been using this one a lot. You can use this in your routines after cleansing. You can apply it either with a cotton pad and smooth it over skin to remove extra oil or leftover uh, sunscreen or anything like that. Or if you just pat it on like an essence, it's got a water-like texture. A little bit of it goes a very long way. This bottle will last me a long time. I love toners like that though, because they last you forever. I mean, this probably will last me four or five months before I'm even able to finish it. And that's just using it twice a day. I mean, if you use this once a day, probably last you your lifetime maybe not but pretty close so water texture absorbs quickly it once it soaks in it sets to a matte finish that's non-sticky and it soaks in fast so you're ready to go to your next step right after that which is nice no issues all with that um i do like using this a lot in my morning routine just because of how fast it soaks in some toners uh sometimes can take a while to absorb and this one's pretty darn quick so because of that, I like using it specifically in my morning routine. My evening routine, I don't care so much because I'm going to layer 100 gazillion products on and go from there. So it's not as big of a deal. So anyway, very easy to use. No issues at all with that. 
So uh, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in here. So we've got centella, skin soothing, antioxidant, hydrate ingredient, also wound healing ingredient, especially for small wounds and burns. And it's a great ingredient for eczema prone skin. We've got that heart leaf extract, anti-inflammatory. It contains flavonoids, which are good antioxidant protection. Uh, also has antibacterial and it's used to treat skin allergies as well as eczema. And very nice for that, for its soothing properties. We've got licorice root extract, skin soothing, skin brightening ingredient, soothing ingredient. We've got polygonium multiflorum extract. It's an extract that's being studied for its effects on, actually mostly studied on its effects for graying hair. If you look it up in PubMed, there's some studies on how it may help uh, prevent hair, hair from continuing to go gray. I've tried a few products like that and none of them really impressed me, but to be 100% honest, I was probably too skeptical to really, really like really delve into it. You know what I mean? Like I think the Inky List had one or it was Revolution Hair Care or Skin Care Revolution. I've tried a few and none of them overly impressed me, but I probably wasn't super diligent. And I think after I finished the product, I just stopped. Whereas it probably would take months to really test that out because the hair can grow pretty slow. Uh, okay, we've got arginine, skin identical ingredient, berry pairing, elantin, a skin soothing, wound healing, water lily extract, antioxidant, anti-aging, betaine, a good humectant, and then panthenol, skin soothing and wound healing ingredient. I know it's just a little allergies. Ugh. Okay, in terms of animal testing, numbers in it looks like they're pretty cruelty free. I had an issue the other day with PK and Yule trying to figure out is it cruelty free or is it not? Half the sites say yes, half the sites say no. What is it? So, uh, but pretty much most sites agree that numbers in is cruelty free, which is nice. Uh, okay, in terms of performance, so okay, so it's soaked in on my hand, feels really nice, hydrated but not greasy, uh, nice matte finish, feels really nice. For what this product promises, it promises to calm your skin, promises to soothe irritation, reduce redness, and to purify, hydrate skin, and great option for sensitive and acne-prone acne skin. I would say it delivers on most of those accounts, although I will say I still don't understand what purifying skin is and what purified skin looks like as opposed to non-purified skin, so I really... It's more of like a marketing term, I think. Some got paid a lot of money to write, I have a feeling. Um, and then I would say it works for most of those with the exception of the most, most sensitive skin types due to that hyacinth in there. Uh, so it might be irritating for those with extremely sensitive skin, but for the most part, I think most people won't have any issues with this. So otherwise it does feel nice and soothing. Helped a bit with redness, not over the top, like some ingredients with really can help with redness. This one helped a little bit, not as much as other things, but it did help. Uh, and then the nice thing is for acne prone skin, there's only carbomer of note, so really nothing to be too concerned about. So I think this is safe for most skin types with the exception of the most temperamental. So acne, normal, oily, dry, it'll work. Uh, okay, so in terms of the price, so this is the full size, 300 milliliters is 10.5 ounces, retails for about $22, which is a pretty good deal, and it will last you forever. And a lot of toners I've been noticing have gotten smaller and smaller kind of over the last few years. Like most toners used to be around this size or seven ounces, now a lot of them are like four ounces or three ounces. So uh, yeah, so this one's still pretty, pretty big enough bottle, pretty big enough, big enough bottle, not gonna be an issue and uh, pretty affordable. Um, in terms of the it factor, overall, it's a nice toner. It's without a lot of ingredients. It work and hydrate and soothe most skin. It's not a must have for me. I liked it. I'll certainly finish this. Is it something I'll get re really excited about and repurchase? Uh, there's other numbers in products I'd be more excited to repurchase first, but, uh, I really like their purple moisturizer, their number five vitamin serum, their collagen pudding serum is really nice. And this one's good, it's nice, it's just nothing that's overly exciting to me that I would repurchase it, but it does help out with redness and things like that. So, um, okay, let's see. In terms of uh, dupes, we've got a list of a few. The Anua Heartleaf Soothing Toner, which is another product. Kind of the same experience with that as I did with this. It was nice, it wasn't overly exciting, uh, but for some, pe some people are looking for a very simple ingredient list, so, um, Nothing wrong with that. It just 
kind of the same opinion in a lot of ways of the Anua as I do to this one. So uh, the Jumiso All Day Vitamin Glow Toner, the Casar X Pure Fit Sika Toner, the A2 Day Soon Young Sika Relief Toner, and the TM Signature Vita B5 Toner are all some similar dupes or alternatives. So with a 10 being a perfect score of this one, an 8. Nice product overall. Not terribly exciting, but not a letdown. So that's always a good thing. Uh, anyway, interested in hearing from you guys. Do you have a chance to check this one out yet or not? And again, sign up for the newsletter and get your free goodies. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.